Smart Brakes! Smart Brakes! Fascinating. Oh, hey, Mr. Zoe. Hey, Captain Hope. What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing a little research. I am researching freshwater sharks in Lake Managua, which is in Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Huh. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> What's that? Oh, this? This is a painting I made. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, such shape and, and the colors and the composition. What is it? Oh, I see. It's a horse playing cards with the hippopotamus who's riding a kangaroo on a Monday while it's raining. And oh, and they're all eating watermelon. And uh, oh, in a, in a hat. Oh yes. <laughs> oh wow. How'd you learn how to paint like that? Mm, I've been taking a class. I mean, you know. Everybody's an artist, but since I've been taking classes, I've been learning a lot. Mm. <laughs> and it's been really fun. Well, except for today. Today wasn't much fun at all. My friend Holly borrowed my new purple paintbrush, and when she gave it back, it was broken. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Did she say sorry? No. In fact, she said that it was like that when she got it but I know that it wasn't. Hmm. So she didn't tell the truth. No, she didn't tell the truth. It really hurt my feelings. I don't know if I can trust her now. I mean, if she had just apologized, it, it would have all been okay. Well, did you tell her that? No. Hmm. I was too nervous, so I didn't say anything. I just put the paintbrush on the table and left. So you didn't tell the truth either. I guess not. Hmm. You know, I bet Holly was kind of nervous. You know, when you make a mistake, sometimes it's hard to admit it. You're right, Mr. Zoe. You know, I didn't think about that. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to go talk to Holly about it. I know I'm going to be nervous, but her friendship is so important to me. Hmm. That is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, where should we hang this? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ha. Ta-da. Perfect. <laughs> oh, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. I'll race you to our seats. <laughs> Wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hey, 
It's our friend Rachel. Hi, Rachel. I brought you a present. Hey, Pat. Hey, you guys. Check it out. It's an orange. <laughs> Did you know an orange usually has 10 segments or sections inside its peeling? And they're great for your heart, full of lots of vitamin C. And the peel can be sprinkled over vegetables as a slug repellent. <laughs> I gotta remember that one. You should try one. It's delicious. Are you ready to learn? Okay, we're gonna find our dance space. Make sure you have plenty of room. And we sit down in our own dance space and we sit crisscross applesauce. We're gonna start away right today by clapping our hands to the beat of the music. Let's try it slow first. Clap those hands. Good. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're gonna go back to clapping slow. Slow claps now. Take a look, we're gonna change where we're clapping in space. We're gonna clap way high in the sky. We clap those hands way high in the sky. Let's try this rhythm fast. And we go quick clap. Good. And we're gonna go all the way down to the floor. Slow claps. We're gonna speed it up with quick claps. one of our sides. Here we go. Slow. And quick. Switch to the other side. Slow claps. And quick. All right, I'm gonna change it up. Let's see if you can do this. We're gonna go side to side. We go side, clap, side, clap, side. Clap. We're gonna try it even faster. Here we go. Side, clap, side, clap, side, clap, side, clap. I wonder if we can do this even faster. Whoa, that's really fast. All right, stop. We're gonna go under one leg and get that slow and fast rhythm going again. Clap nice and slow, and we clap it even faster. We got two legs though, so we're gonna switch. And slow. And really fast. All right, this one's really crazy too. Get both legs off the floor. Let's see if we can clap underneath those legs. Whoa, and fast. Good. Next thing, we're gonna sit back with our legs crisscross applesauce and we're gonna tap our head. Where's your head? It's all the way on the top of your body. And quick taps. Go ahead, the next thing we're gonna move to is our shoulders. Let's tap those shoulders. You have two shoulders. Tap them a little quicker. We're gonna cross our arms and make an X shape and find our opposite shoulders. Where are your opposite shoulders? Good, and tap them a little quicker. Now we're gonna go open and cross. Open and cross. Good, open, make an X shape, cross, little faster, open, cross, open, cross. Find your knees, you also have two knees. Where are those little faster taps? Good, we make the same X shape to find our opposite knees, and we tap those hands again. But a little faster, we tap. All right, we're gonna open and cross again. Open, cross, Make that X with your arm. Open and cross to your opposite knee. Open, cross, open, cross. Last thing we're gonna do is our toes are all the way down at the bottom of our body. Oh, nice. We're gonna do a little faster tap. Wake those toes up. 
guess what? You can do the same egg shape to find your opposite toes. Toes. Good. Little faster. Nice work, dancers. And we go open and cross. Open and cross. Open, cross, and open, cross, and open, cross. We are done. Whoa, dancers, we just warmed up a lot of different parts of our body. So now we're going to do an isolation dance. An isolation is when you freeze your whole body and you only move one body part at a time. So I want you to see if you can stretch your hand up high in the sky and only move your fingers. That's an isolation of your fingers. Put it back down. Let's see if you can just move your head. Don't move anything else. Whoa, that's an isolation too. So now we're gonna stand up, rise up, and we're gonna do an isolation dance today. And the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate our fingers. We're gonna isolate our fingers. How can you maybe wiggle those fingers? Maybe you could roll them. Maybe you could just move one finger at a time. Whoa. Maybe they could reach up high in the sky. Maybe they could roll all the way down and wiggle on the floor. How do you move your fingers? And stop. Good. The next thing we're going to move are our feet all the way down at the bottom. This is gonna be your feet isolations. How do your feet move? Whoa, how can they move all by themselves? Maybe you could roll them out. Try not to move anything else. That's the hard part. How do you move your feet? Ooh, can they go forward and back in a circle? How do they move by themselves? Good. And stop. Good, the next one we're gonna do is the whole leg, both sides. Let's see how we can do an isolation with our legs. How do we isolate our legs? How can you move those legs? Don't forget, part of your legs are your knees. They like to bend. This one is a fun one. I like this one a lot. How do we move just our legs? And stop. All right, dancers. Now we're gonna move on to our shoulders. Do you remember those shoulders? Now we're gonna isolate the shoulders and warm isolation dance just with our shoulders. How can we move just with our shoulders? Try not to move it. Anything else? Maybe sometimes it reacts to what you're doing, but our shoulders are mostly moving. Can they circle? Maybe they just need to go up and down. Ooh, it's nice to breathe when we're really moving those shoulders. And we stop. Good. Now we're gonna isolate our elbows. We have two of them. We're gonna isolate our elbows. This is our isolation elbow dance. How do we move just our elbows? Ooh, this one's a tricky one. Maybe you could try spelling your name or a picture in the sky. I'm gonna do that. R A C H A E L. All right, keep moving those elbows. How do they move? This one is hard, but keep exploring. Sometimes the hard things are the best things to create from. Oh, and stop. Next, we're gonna move to our head. How can we isolate our head? Here's our head isolation dance. Maybe it needs to feel heavy. Maybe it needs to float like a big balloon. Ooh, how is your head gonna move today? In a circle, side to side? 
Maybe it could shake. Oh, how do we explore what our head can do? What are all the possibilities? Good. And stop. Now we're going to explore moving our whole body at the same time, but trying to remember all the different body parts we have. So let's put them all together, dancers. Here we go. We dance any way we want to, trying to think about all the different body parts that we have. Don't forget about your fingers. Good. And don't forget about your feet. And our legs. How are our legs moving? And our shoulders. How do we put all this together? And our elbows. And our head. Good. Full body moving, thinking all the body parts. those hands. Wiggle them all the way onto your heart. Good. And we're going to take some breaths. Before we do, I want you to feel your heart. Can you feel the heartbeat? Really focus in on that. Is it going fast? Medium or slow? Guess what? Mine's going pretty fast. So we were working really hard together, exploring our body parts and moving. Let's take some breaths to see if we can slow it down in through our nose and out through our mouth. And let it out. Again. Focus on that heart rate. Two more. Last one. Oh, guess what? My heart rate has slowed down. I feel so much better now from dancing and calming my heart rate down. Good work today, dancers. Wow, what a wonderful class. You know, we'd like to share a hat with you. Why don't you go ahead and pick your favorite one? Oh my goodness, I get to pick a hat? All right, I think I'm gonna pick this awesome one. And I feel like I should dance as I go with all my body parts. Bye. <sighs> that was a great class. Mm, I learned a lot, mm -hmm. as usual. I hope you learned a lot too, friends. You know what time it is now. It's time for our awesome rules. Be kind. Be grateful. Do art. A lot. Stay curious. Drink water. And breathe. Let's go for a walk. Great idea, friend. Hooks. It's the Hopesters band practice. I almost forgot. At the end of the day, and right from the start, we 
Time motion and hydrate and have a grip of water. End of the day and right from the start. Time motion and hydrate and have a grip of water. End of the day and right from the start. Time motion and hydrate and have a grip of water. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grip of water. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grip of water. End of the day, and right from the start, be kind, wash your hands, hydrate, and have a grip of water. Smart Breaks is a production of Hope Stone Incorporated. Funding for Smart Breaks was provided in part by the Keating Family Foundation and the Brown Foundation Incorporated. Mm -hmm.